In today's video, I want to introduce a new and free indicator on TradingView, which is one of the best volume indicators ever. To add this amazing indicator to our chart, here we click on indicators and we search liquidity sentiment profile. We add this one, liquidity sentiment profile auto anchored, which is a free indicator from Lux Algo. All right, this is the indicator. And unlike other indicators that are added below the chart or overlaid on the price chart, this indicator is placed here in the right side of the chart in the form of a two sided histogram. This indicator is an advanced indicator that combines both of volume and price to give us information about the distribution of liquidity and also market sentiment at specified price levels. In case if you don't know what liquidity is, it's actually the availability of orders at specific price levels which allows transactions to happen smoothly. In simple words, it refers to trading volume at specific price levels that eases the conversion of the asset without affecting the market price and market sentiment refers to the overall attitude of traders to an asset at specific price levels. In simple words, it's the feeling or tone of the market if they are bullish or bearish. The histogram on the left side shows liquidity. In other words, the distribution of the traded activity at different price levels. And the histogram on the right side shows market sentiment at different price levels. Please pay attention that unlike other indicators that we have indicator reading based on time and for each candlestick separately, here we are working working with price ranges. For example, here for market sentiment, here for this price range, as you can see, it's red, which shows bearish sentiment. And for example, here for this price range, it's green, which shows bullish sentiment. So for the right side of the histogram, which shows market sentiment, when it's red, it shows bearish sentiment for those price ranges. And if you check the price range, you can see that when the price reached that price range, we had declining of the price. For example, here we had declining of the price. So so bearish sentiment here for this price range and here again declining of the price so bearish sentiment for this price range and again here for this range and on the other hand when we have advancing of the price from a level like here or for example here you can see that the sentiment profile is green for that price range please pay attention that these are calculated based on price and volume and this is actually the result of trading activity of market participants up to now so for example here if the price goes up and reaches to around here, we know that for this range of the price, the market sentiment is bearish. So we can expect that there is higher probability that the price will reverse and turn down. At the moment, the price is at the range that the market participants were bullish, which you can see the price started advancing from here. And by having this adjusted and shallow trend line here, and having the confluence of the price touching the trend line and having bullish market sentiment for this range, we can expect if the price bounce from this line and reaches around here, we can expect advancing of the price at least up to around here, which in this range, we have a bearish sentiment. All right, now let's talk about the left side of the histogram, which shows liquidity. We have distribution of traded activity at different price ranges and they are marked with different colors so we can find significant price levels such as support and resistance levels, supply and demand zone, and consolidation zones. When it's orange, it shows high amount of traded activity. When it's gray, it shows average amount of traded activity. And when it's blue, it shows low traded activity. By these informations at hand, we can identify significant price levels in the market. For example, when for a price range, the histogram is blue, which shows low traded activity, it can indicate a supply or demand zone, which in this case, it's a supply zone. Zone. So we expect when the price reaches to this price range, we will have increased supply and so declining of the price. Or here for this price range, which is blue and showing low traded activity, it's a demand zone. And we expect when the price reaches to this range, we will have increased demand and advancing of the price like what happened here. And in times that the histogram is in orange color, which shows high amount of traded activity, it can show consolidation and range market, which in this case, you can clearly see this tightening consolidation. So by having the market sentiment profile and market liquidity profile, we can identify significant price ranges in the market. For example, for this price range, we have bearish sentiment and it's a supply zone. So it's highly probable that if the price reaches to this range, it will turn down because many orders are already set around here, like stop loss orders, limit orders and stop limit orders and usually set by large and institutional traders. And because of the importance of these liquidity 
volatility levels the indicator also shows the supply and demand zone which in case if you find them distracting you can remove them here in the settings by scrolling down and removing here buy side and sell side liquidity zones please pay attention that by default the calculation of the indicator is set at fixed range with the period set at 360 in case if you want to set on auto it's a better choice for shorter time frames you can also set the calculation based on swing high or swing low and here you can define swing detection length and you can also set the anchor period based on day week month quarter or year for example since we are on one day time frame here on this chart we set year and you can see that the calculations are started at the beginning of this year setting the indicator at fixed range usually provides good result this indicator is a perfect tool to be used with price action analysis or other aspects of smart money concept to find significant price ranges in the market all right that's it thank you for watching this video if you have any questions feel free to ask and leave a comment for me i'll answer your questions as soon as possible if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe and hit the bell so you get the notifications of my new video see you guys in next video and good luck with your trading